891 and ATAS that does work now. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to tell you what was wrong with it. And it's not what everybody thinks. So I thank everybody for all your comments and, and the help. However, it turned out it wasn't a grounding issue. I didn't think it was because I have had this working before. So you'll find out in a minute what the problem actually was. Okay, there's the tomatoes on the uh, shelf there. Let them ripen up. So let's get in the shack. Okay, it's all working now, so let's give you a quick demo of how to use an ATAS. First off, go into the settings by holding down the function button. There's two settings to change in here. Tuner select, you want to set that to ATAS, okay? So that's, I think everybody knows about that. There's another setting, and it's called ATAS settings enable. I'm not 100% sure what that does, but I've got it on. Right, as long as you've got that, happy days. Now there's a secret menu it's not so secret, but you might want to use this if your antenna gets stuck. Press function, function again, function again. ATAS settings. Turn left or right to move the arrow and then hold down the function knob. The down button makes the aerial go up. The up arrow makes the aerial go down. So the up arrow basically means you're going up in frequency. It doesn't mean the antenna's going up. If I hold this in, I can hear the antenna going down. If I put it here, the antenna is now going up. I can hear it in the background. If your antenna gets stuck at the top of the bottom, that's what you can do to move it back to the middle so that it'll work again. So we'll go to 20 meters. We'll do that and all we do now, press tune. The antenna is now going down, getting shorter, and it's gonna tune up on 20 meters. I can hear it going down, it's going quite quickly. It'll probably be there any second. You'll start noting the noticing the SWR. There we go. It's now tuned up on 20 meters. If I key up, one, two, there we go. SWR of less than 1.5. Rinse and repeat. If we go to 17, press tune, it's gonna do, do the same thing again. There we go, that was very quick. If we now go to 15, it's now moving. There we go, seconds it's taken to change bands. So I think the trick is if you get stuck, sorry about the flashing, but if you get stuck tuning it, it won't move. It's Use this secret, not so secret function menu to manually move it up and down. Right, so this mount here came from MLS. So the top bit's rubber, the bottom bit is electrically connected with this metal plate. So what we're gonna do under here is strip off the paint. Let me shut the door. Right, let's give it a go. Okay, so we've scraped off the paint on the boot. Not done any proper earthing yet. See if the tune button works now. Is it moving? Thanks, sir, moving. We've shorted across here to the coax to bypass the dodgy joint. Turns out it wasn't even that. So what it was, on this connector here, it's a two part connector, I didn't know this. I've never even looked at it. So this connector here comes undone and it was loose. That's all it was. So there you go, check your connectors. <laughs> you live and learn. So that comes right off, look. And that was just loose. As soon as I did it up tight, everything started working. Anyway, here's this week's veg selection from the parents. Let's go and see where it came from. Right. So here we have the greenhouse. This is where the tomatoes are grown. Thanks, Dad. I actually helped Dad build this greenhouse <laughs> in the winter. That was a bloody nightmare. What else have we got? We've got beans growing here. That's what these are. I don't know if they've come up yet. We'll have some of them when they're done, if the brother and sister don't get there first. 
and we've got a load of windmills that don't work. Green energy for you. 